we often tell folks it's really important to, you know, take the time uh, to get the proper contracts and agreements in place before you start doing business. So if you're a small business owner and you're in a dispute with another business, what are your rights and how do you get help? We're going to find out right now because we're going to ask on this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest is Denver attorney Samantha Pryor. Remember, if you'd like to ask Samantha any questions about your situation, go to askthelawyers.com. Click the button up at the top that says Ask a Lawyer. It'll walk you right through the process. Or you can always call the phone number you'll see on the screen during our conversation. Samantha, thank you for making some time to help us out today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So we're talking small business owners. Say one small business owner gets into a dispute with another small business owner, a vendor or contract or something like that. At what point do they need to get a lawyer like yourself involved? It would be important to get a lawyer involved in a dispute. Um, as soon as you're, as soon as you're aware that it's not really going to come to a resolution without a lot of expense and um, you know, effort on your part. Uh, ideally, uh, a small business owner would have a contract with the party that they're working with um, that would identify what the party's understanding is about the relationship. Because that's right. the whole purpose of having a contract is for the parties to memorialize their understanding. And if there is a dispute, they can go back to the contract to, um, to figure out, well, what do we agree on? Uh, and, and if we can't agree, then how will we, how will we, what will be our, our course of action? Right. And so uh, that's ideal to have the uh, contract in place before you enter into a business relationship. But if after you enter into the business relationship and there's a dispute, uh, then it's important to get a con an attorney involved and in to see what your rights and obligations are under the law and to try to help you to get the case resolved without uh, having to go through court. Well, that was, you just ran right into my next question. So is it possible that an attorney can help you resolve, let's say, a breach of contract without having to file a lawsuit or does, does a lawsuit have to be filed? Yes, absolutely. So uh, at the Halliburton Law Firm, for example, that's what we do in every case. Before we ever file any sort of lawsuit, we always attempt to try to resolve the dispute um, because it, it just saves the parties a lot of money time and stress, for, quite frankly, to go through a lawsuit. And so we always attempt to try to identify the breakdown in the relationship because oftentimes there's just a disagreement and the, the parties just need to kind of talk about how the disagreement came about and how to just get it resolved um, in the best interest of uh, the client. Um, and so if that doesn't resolve, uh, then of course you'll likely have to file a lawsuit or um, otherwise go through a legal proceeding based on the terms of the contract. Hopefully there is a contract. Are, are, are these situations something that could be helped with mediation and how does that work? And do you need a lawyer to, uh, to engage in mediation? Uh, yes. Yeah, so mediation is, is a great, um, option. Uh, in, in fact, courts really prefer that folks engage in, uh, some sort of alternative dispute resolution like mediation. Uh, mediation is a type of alternative dispute resolution, and so does arbitration. Um, mediation is very helpful because you have a third party who is not interested in the in the dispute. Um, they are just informed of the party's interests, and their job is to just work with the parties to try to, um, you know, bridge the gap uh, in right. in terms of the dispute and and bring the parties to a resolution. And mediations are very helpful in helping the parties to resolve those cases without incurring a lot of money in attorney's fees and costs um, in court. And so it is very helpful to have a lawyer um, who is experienced in mediations to help not only present the case um, in a sound and clear way to the mediator, to help the mediator understand the claims and the interests, um, but then also to negotiate uh, with the other party to get a resolution. And, and the mediator, do they make a final decision and is it binding? How, 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 does that, how, is, how are things resolved there? Sure, good question. So, um, so in mediation, uh, there's usually a mediator or there is a mediator um, and that mediator is not a decision maker in the case. Okay. That, third, that party is uh, just someone who is, uh, you know, 
working with the clients or working with the, the parties, excuse me, to identify the interests and see um, if they can bring the parties together through, you know, conversation and negotiation. Whereas in arbitration, um, which is the other form of alternative dispute resolution, there actually is a decision maker um, or a panel of decision makers, and those are arbiters um, or arbitrators. Um, and oftentimes business contracts do have arbitration clauses in them. So instead of having to go or instead of being able to go and pursue a claim in court, an arbitration clause will require the parties to go through that arbitration process. And it's usually a binding proceeding and decision made by the arbitrators. Gotcha. Sounds like uh, a lot of this might be avoided if somebody comes to you before when they're drawing up that contract and help to avoid a lot of the trouble as you go down the road, right? Oh, that is absolutely correct. Um, we often tell folks it's really important to, you know, take the time uh, to get the proper contracts and agreements in place before you start doing business. Um, it's really easy to get involved in a business relationship. It's not that easy to get out necessarily, um, especially if there is a dispute. And the whole purpose of a contract is to memorialize the understanding of the parties. Um, and so if there is a dis disagreement or a dispute, the parties should be able to go back to their contract and see, well, what did we agree upon? Um, and, you know, what is happening in, in reality? And if if they're you know not aligned, then the contract should say exactly what the party's rights and obligations are um, if there's a, a, a breach or a dispute um, between the parties. Very helpful information. Uh, thank you so much, Samantha, for making some time answering our questions. I do appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. That's going to take care of this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Denver attorney Samantha Pryor. I remind you again, if you'd like to ask Samantha questions about your situation, go to askthelawyers.com. Click the button at the top that says Ask a Lawyer, and it'll walk you right through the very simple process right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Rob Rosenthal for Ask the Lawyers.